hello friends welcome back so in this video we will continue with our video player making series and now we will create functions for our player so first we'll see our idle player here okay so this is nothing doing at now so let me just quickly rename the buttons that we created so last video we will create we already created some buttons there and their names are default so let me just rename this to play push button then this is our pause push button this is our stop push button okay and rest just leave it like that no problem just hit save so it's easier for us to actually get those push buttons here and we can recall by their names but remember you need to recompile the ui file so let's just check that we get the play button yes we get it okay okay so the first thing we should create a load function so what we need to do load video and here two things that we need to consider first we need a path so for now let just i will just create a path here and i just for demo i just copy a few uh, videos here so let me just use one of them so chamber sorry chamber.mov and now I want to load this MOV into my player so for that we need to create a media source so let's just create the media so remember we imported this pyqt phonon library let's just go there dot phonon dot media source and here we will provide this path of our mov now we will load this media to our video player to get that video player self dot video player dot load and provide this media okay now let's just connect our buttons with the functionality of video player so first let's take the play button self dot play push button dot clicked whenever it's clicked connect to our uh, media player self dot video player dot play and here I use lambda because I want this to be execute when play button click if I don't use this it will straight forward go and play so this that's why we have to use the lambda function here Okay, similarly we have uh, pause and we have stop oh we did wrong spelling here top so we correct the spelling save recompile the UI now it should be stop okay so let's just put stop and okay so we connected all buttons with the video player functions and we also loaded the video at this time is hard coded later we'll add the file browser let's just see if the video loading or not 
so load video let's just run our app play oh so here you see that our video is start playing but still there are a lot of work to do which is right now we see our this slider is not moving the volume we cannot control this is not activated at this time so to activate that uh, pause is working play is working and stop is working okay so now let's just add our slider also with that so remember we created two slider uh, seek slider not So we need to give the media object self taught video player sorry okay so this should be this and we need to set the media object so here it is and it should be callable let's just see if we can see our this slider working all right so now we see our seek slider is now working i can yes go back to the previous frame okay now the sound slider is not working so let's just add the sound slider also what's the let me check the name for this volume slider right this one set volume object and this will be our self dot video player dot yes something like that Sorry, it should be set audio output. Okay, let's just see. Okay, no attribute audio object output. Run. Okay, so we have our volume slider and let's just play. Hmm. I can hear the volume perfect pause play stop play pause stop okay so uh, in terms of functionality of the player all good now the last thing which is pending is to load video from here right so let's just do that So first I need to get the file name which is selected by someone. So let's say uh, file name and to get that we have a qtgy.q file dialog dot get get open file name I need to get a file name that's why let's just put self there put a title select video right 
let's just see how it works so maybe i will connect this with our open file action bar so self dot you know how many action okay so we have action open dot and remember here we don't have click we have trigger so trigger dot connect self dot select select video okay let's just print what we are getting here run file open and for example let's just select shark okay so we are getting the path here perfect so now when somebody select video and after that it should be load so now instead of load on on when our application launch we will load when somebody select a video so let's say self dot load video and then pass file name but you pass a file name but load video don't require any arguments so let's just add a file name argument there and instead of hard coded path let's just use this file file name or maybe file path makes sense right because this is not just file name this is file path we need file path okay so let's just uh, rerun that so it's open right now nothing there let's just file open uh, this time open shark and we just open it's loaded but it's not playing we need to put this it's loud so I need to reduce the sound but yeah somehow it's working stop let's just load another one so something like chamber play okay what I want is when somebody load and it should play first it should play automatically so all we need to do is just put self dot video video player dot play so it will not wait for someone to click come and click the play button on first round it will just play so okay so now as you see once we open it's play right okay so uh, I think this is it for this video series I hope you get the idea how you can use the player inside Python and Qt it's very interesting and maybe in next video series I will show you some more interesting videos related to Qt Python I will see you in the next video mm -hmm.